has a new action called parse format date time. What this does, it, it lets you input any date and then out, uh, the output will, ter will tell you several things about the date. For, uh, by default, you, can, you get the current date, so the input type is now, and you get these variables. So without even having to configure anything, you can get, for example, let's add a flash with the current year slash current month slash and current day. So with these two actions, you can get the today's date. Uh, if you notice, there's some zeros missing here, which would make it look better. So to make this simpler, instead of using these built-in variables, let's create a, for a format so you get that right away. So if, for example, can do for y's and then two m's and then to lowercase d's and this will get the same format as before but with the zeros in place. So let's see now I can simply replace all of this with the formatted date. There you go looks better. Now you could even uh, call this something else like to today's date and this will create a variable called today's date and you can use that directly instead of this use today's date there you go now instead of using um, the current time you can use any other input types like for example the milliseconds or the seconds or this specific format or even any custom format you want. Let's try this out. For example, let's say I have I want to get the date of oh sorry this is the format. Let me cut this. The input is like uh, 17 uh, 05 and the input format is this one hours and then minutes and the output format I can for example let's say um, just the minutes and now I can output a variable called minutes and here show that same variable minutes and as you can see it parsed out only the, the minutes part and put it there. Now let's say I want another variable with the hours. I can simply add hours here and as you can see hours, minutes, two variables. So now if I flash hours and minutes I get, oh yeah, <laughs> I, I need to uh, add the hour output format as well. So the first uh, format, the first variable will be this, this first output and the second variable will be the second output, this one. So now, yep, 17 and 5. And you could also have multiple inputs, inputs if you want. So instead of just one input, I could have, let's say, uh, 21, 56. And now this minutes variable, or, 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 or even better, the, the last variable here will contain all of the formatted inputs. So let's call them all uh, outputs and a, a variable called outputs will be created and now if I just flash the outputs variable
all of the different outputs will be created. So one for each input, you have two inputs, and for each of the outputs, you'll get you'll get uh, the formatted output. So you have two inputs and two outputs. So you'll get this one formatted as hours and, and this one forget, formatted as minutes, and also this one formatted as hours and this one formatted as minutes. So you'll get 17, 5, 21, 56. Oh, not in that order, but okay. That's that's the that's how how it works. So you can have an unlimited number of inputs and an unlimited number of outputs, and you get them all in this array. Um, so this is the parse format date time action, and to show a practical example of this, check out this action, this task that gets the sunset and sunrise times from this API and it outputs date in this format ISO 8601 so this and it outputs in JSON so by using the new JSON access fields I can get the I can format these two fields the sunrise and the sunset times and output them in this format hours and minutes so now I get my location, I do the request, I parse the output, and in four actions I can have this say action which will tell me this. The sun will set at 18.35 and will rise at 7 o'clock tomorrow. And it's this simple. You simply input all the dates, specify the output format, specify the variable names for the outputs and there you go you can do this this is the new parse format date time action hope you enjoyed it bye